what's going on and welcome back so I wanted to make this video because a lot of you guys out there were asking about 73 Nova LS swap project and I want to do this so that I can give you an update um, there are a few things that we've done since the last video the last video that I had out on this car was the wiring for the engine so I want to show you where it's at what's going on and what direction we're headed and basically what we're gonna to try to do next so let me show you a few things that we've done and uh, we'll talk about that all right so here she sits uh, first thing first and foremost um, right here in the front in your face there I bought a oil catch can from eBay I figure we put one on this car so that you know we can keep any oil vapors out of the intake if these engines are anything like the coyotes they like to get oil and intake in basically any engine for that matter that runs a crankcase evacuation system so I figured I'd pick one up it's relatively cheap nothing expensive nothing fancy but I think it looks good and I think it fits the engine really well I like how it looks on there um, basically what I did I kind of want to show you what I did here I'm going to clean it up a bit and you know shoot some more paint on it and stiffen up the bracket as you can see it can kind of move just a little bit I just don't want that thing moving around with the engine running you know we have the cam in here so it's it's got some chop to it so I'll probably take some aluminum on the back side and stiffen that up but other than that I think that bracket's going to work out really well I actually this bracket came from the truck cold air intake that I bought off eBay, the cheap one. So I cut it up and actually got it to fit on there pretty good. It's bolted on with those two bolts there. And I just need to kind of file it down a little bit, clean it up, and shoot a little paint on it. I think it'll look good. And as far as the catch can goes, right now I've got, you know, just some rubber hose. Uh, it goes down to the PCV valve. And up to the upper intake before there was just a hose run there um, it is rubber hose now but I think I want to put braided line I've got some extra dash 8 line and I think that would look a whole lot better it's black it's the black braiding so I think that would look great up there you wouldn't have this just hose running here so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think that would be a good idea. If, um, if you think that would look a lot better, I think it would. So we may try to do that. So moving on, as you can see back there is the air conditioning dryer. We've got the dryer mounted. That was in my last video. I didn't talk about it, but it, you did see it in my last video. Um, I did switch out the binary switch with a trinary switch to control the fan. So basically, when the car gets up to temperature, the fan will turn on, or if you turn the AC on, the fan will come on, and then once the car is up to temperature, the fan will stay on. So that is the plan with that. And as you can see, I do have the AC lines run. This one runs back through the fender, back over there. This one runs down, if you can see, runs down along the front of that cross member there. And up over here, let me just bring you around this way. And up over here, through the condenser. And you've got a line, if you can see it down there, the aluminum line. Let me see if I can get you under here where you can see it. Runs through there. And that line runs up and through the fender here and back over there to the dryer. So I think it's a pretty clean install. Once the battery is in place here, you really won't be able to see these won't be so in your face you know these lines that'll kind of be hidden by the battery the battery will sit right here so I think it'll look pretty good that was about the best way that I could route it I tried looking at you know routing them that way and it was just so much stuff right there it just didn't look right to me and you know that would block the view of the headers 
and the tubular control arm that will block that so I think this will look better it's kind of hidden sort of uh, back there but I think that'll look good once the battery's in place you really won't notice it that much so oh we didn't talk about the battery tray it's a brand new battery tray got that in there um, let's see what else I don't think there's much else on the engine I haven't really done much else with that mainly it was the catch can and the AC lines I did get them crimped by a uh, mobile hydraulic hose maker or whatever you want to call it um, met him down the street and he crimped these up for me hopefully they're they'll hold they're not the the usual crimp for AC lines but he said he has done them before so he said if they leak he'll redo it and you know we should be good to go but I think they'll be okay I mean I think they'll be all right we'll see no big deal if not we'll just have them recrimp them but I do want to show you all this down here now this looks like a huge mess but these are the brake parts uh, we did do some painting as you can see the calipers there we've got the spindles there master cylinder there the backing plates and all that stuff there's more of the tubular control arms over there so we've got that painted and those are basically ready to go on I think the next thing I need to do though is I need to mount up the master cylinder because that is gonna kind of dictate where these wires are gonna run or how I run these the master cylinder is gonna sit right here this is a manual brake car came that way from the factory it's gonna stay that way but we are switching the drums out on the front to disc so anyway the master cylinder is gonna go right there I kind of want to set that there you know not not bolted up for good but bolted up there so I can see where these wires can run and you know basically see how I can make it as neat as possible so that's the plan there so anyway so catch can AC lines those are all run in tight so those are good to go the painted parts over there under the car now the other painted parts we've got are the rotors so we got the rotors painted and I do need to um, take these boxes off of here we've got them tucked into these boxes here to paint them um, nothing fancy with these I just want to get a coat of paint on them because you will be able to see probably you know the this part of the rotor the wheel is going to sit against here obviously but you will be able to see this part and that's just going to rust you know eventually that's just going to rust up and you know we're doing all this work to, to the car why not just shoot some paint on these so they look good um you know it's kind of the the little touches like that you know that attention to detail i would call it but anyway let me get these boxes off here i want to see what they look like so hang tight let me cut them loose and we'll come back anyway, pull the rotors out took the tape off the studs we don't want any tape on the studs definitely don't want tape on that um they look pretty good man like I said, nothing fancy, not, you know, didn't go into major, you know, make sure every little speck was covered up and perfect lines around it. Didn't get into all that, but just wanted to keep it from, you know, showing a lot of rust, like I said, but I think that's going to look good. I like how that turned out, but nice little coat of paint, but we did use caliper paint and it's supposed to have ceramic in it. So hopefully that'll hold up, you know, it should, it should then over there we got project stepchild i've got something going on with that car i'm actually waiting on some parts we're kind of at a standstill no i have not started on the blower yet there's something i need to do first before we can do the blower it's coming hopefully by this weekend we'll have this ready to go and start the tear down for the blower because i'm getting excited to get that thing going but anyway enough about that car back to the nova that's what we've got going on man uh lots of work still to do oh and i did want to mention one thing we do have a dakota digital cluster ordered for this car i can't wait to get that it's the newest one it basically looks like the factory cluster but it adds like a message center um, I think it's got I think it's got a digital clock 
I don't know. I don't want to say too much about it because I don't know a whole lot about what it's got, but it is Dakota Digital. It's going to be sweet. It looks like factory. First glance, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. You know, it, it'd be the subtle little things like the message center, you know, if you notice that. If it was on, if, if it wasn't powered up, you probably wouldn't even notice it. So I'm getting excited to get that. I, those they build to order, so it's going to be a little bit, but it is coming. We did order it, so hopefully sooner than later. But I did want to tell you guys about that. But this is where we're at with the car, man. Not a lot of progress because we have been working on Project Stepchild to get the car ready for Ford Takeover. And now the Ford Takeover is over. Now we got the blower install. You know, I am just crazy excited and ready to get the blower on that car. And I know some of you guys are excited to see it on there. And I want to get to the track. But I do need to get back to this car because I know a lot of you guys want to see this car as well. So I'm trying, man. We got a lot to do and very little time. If there's one thing I don't have, that's time. Not much of it at all. But anyway, like I said, just want to do a quick little video update on the Nova because it's been a minute. And I apologize to you guys out there that have been waiting for you know more things on this car. But it's coming. Oh, and I do want to show you real quick. I did start separating some of these wires. I started on that connection there for the computer so I did start getting some of this stuff you know separated and it'll be a whole lot easier for me to you know shorten the wires and get everything straight so I am working on that too that's gonna be a minute that's gonna that's gonna take a while for that but anyway that's it for this one um, I appreciate everybody hanging in there for you know content with this car like I said it's been a while and we've been busy but huh, lots to do lots to do stick with us we got plenty of content coming mustang nova huh, it does it doesn't stop we've got so much to do but anyway that's gonna do it hope you like this video if you did hit the like button if you haven't subscribed please do so lots more coming and we'll see you on the next one